Money is just energy and responds to the attention you give it. But because you are a deliberate creator of your own experience, you are the initiator of this relationship. Like attracts like, and money simply flows to the places where there is a like or a resonance, and a resonance in that vibration. Money does not discriminate. It doesn't say, you know what, this is a good person who deserves money, and this is a bad person who doesn't deserve money. Money is energy, and energy goes with the flow. Whenever, wherever, there is a like vibration, that is where the green energy of money will be attracted. The reason that I'm wanting to drive this point home is because when you change the meaning that you've assigned to money, you change the vibration that you're offering about it, and then more money flows into your life. This is key. Throughout this entire course, I'm going to show you many different ways to change your relationship with money. And the best place to begin is to have you examine the relationship that you already have with it. You are the one who is creating your relationship with money. And you do that by the energy you give it and the vibration you offer in response to it. But unlike in other relationships with another human being, Money can't talk back to you. It can't argue with you or judge you. It can't contradict the vibration that you're offering. So the good news and the bad news is that we are 100% responsible for the relationship we have with money. Money simply responds to our vibration and that is really such an awesome thing to realize because in this moment, right here, right now, you have the opportunity to shift your vibration around money and to create a brand new relationship with it. Remember that an energetic relationship precedes every physical relationship. So before you actually see the green stuff in your hands, before you actually see your credit card bills going to a zero balance, before you actually see all that money just sitting in your bank account, and before you manifest any tangible evidence of more money flowing into your life, you first have to shift your energetic relationship to it. This is a time to be real and honest with yourself about your relationship with money, because if you aren't creating all the money you want, it's not because of the money, it's because of you. And you have the power to change that. So I want you to start thinking about your current relationship with money. Does money flow easily into your life? Or is there a sense of having to work hard or sacrifice or struggle? What are the primary emotions you feel around the subject of money? Is it gratitude and awe and ease and abundance? Or Does your dominant emotions lead more towards frustration and fear and anxiety or even powerlessness? Do you feel deep down that you have, that you will have enough or is your experience most of the time that no matter how much you have, it'll never be enough. A good way of discovering this is to think about the way you feel when money comes into your life. So if you have a hundred dollars in your wallet, Do you feel like, oh gosh, I wish, I just wish it was $200. This will let you know if your relationship with money is based on lack or a vibration of not enough. And it's important to be aware of this because we cannot attract to ourselves an experience of abundance when the energy we are offering is coming from a place of lack. I remember a few years ago, I got a check from one of my publishers for what I consider to be a relatively small amount of money. And I opened the envelope and my immediate thought was, what's the point of that? And then I caught myself and thought, wait a minute, let me, re- let me revise that because I know that the thoughts and feelings I offer about money, any type of money will create my reality as it relates to money. So the relationship that I have with money will either be strengthened or weakened by every inner action I have with it. So I have now adopted the philosophy that receiving any amount of money is an opportunity to say, thank you, universe. I am a money magnet. Thank you for this money. 
I realized that my knee-jerk reaction to this relatively small amount of money was, what's the point of this? It's not worth anything. That was sending out a vibration of money that was consistent with lack and of never having enough. And that's not the vibration that I want to send out in relation to money because I always want to have a feeling of abundance and a feeling that this is enough and I have more than enough. So rather than thinking about all the ways this check was insufficient, I began thinking of all the ways that I could, all the things and all the ways that it would be enough. I could buy a coffee or a new lipstick. I could buy my kids a toy or put it into my savings account to accrue interest. By deliberately conjuring all the possibilities of what I could buy with this check, even though it wasn't a huge amount, I created one more interaction with money that left me feeling powerful and abundant. The truth of the matter is that the check was a surprise and a delight from the universe because I wasn't even expecting it. So now I had one more thing to feel good about because who doesn't love the feeling of receiving money that you weren't expecting? The point of sharing this story is to point out that there are always opportunities to reinforce your experience of abundance. They occur in every moment. Right now, you have an abundance of air to breathe. You have an abundance of ideas flowing through you. You have a roof over your head and a food to eat. The more you bring yourself into a space of appreciation and gratitude, and love and excitement and positive expectation for the ways money already manifests in your life, the more of it you will invite and attract. The interesting thing is that my family and I attract the experience of finding unexpected money all the time. We were walking into Disneyland one day and my husband Frederick said to our sons, boys look down. And sure enough, there was almost $2 in change on the floor. I was at the grocery store just days ago and I looked down and found a $10 bill. The other day I was walking out of my closet and I stepped on a dime that stuck to the bottom of my foot. And I might put up my foot up and I said, look, Frederick, I'm really a money magnet. And the important thing is not the amount of money that comes to me in these experiences. They are all simply evidence of my relationship with money. They are all a reflection of my knowledge and dominant vibration that I am abundant. And my response in all of these interactions with money, whether it's finding a dime or receiving an unexpected check in the mail is, thank you. Thank you, universe. I really am a money magnet. So I invite you to adapt the same mindset and watch how often money finds its way to you. When you affirm that you are a magnet to money, money can't help but be attracted to you. So getting back to exploring your current relationship with money, I want to say that some of your beliefs around money were created from experiences that you've had as an adult, and some are beliefs that you inherited from other people, especially your parents. Each of us was raised in a different environment and had different role models of how those around us related to money. For some people, the topic of money was avoided completely. So for them, money might show up as a big mystery. Other people grew up in a family where money was a so really is seen as a source of the problem, the cause of arguments and stress. And some people were raised in an environment where we were exposed to two completely perspectives and contradictions and energy around the subject of money. This is really common. So let me give you an example. When I was growing up, my mom, who I adore, always made it very clear that she believed that people who have money are basically better than those who don't. So whenever she saw an example of someone living a luxurious or extravagant life, she would say things like, ooh, look at them. They have buku bucks. <laughs> That's one of my mom's favorite lines. So what I learned from my mom is that people who have a lot of money are kind of higher up or more important than those who don't. My dad, on the other hand, would look at the same people who have the big buku bucks, but would rather than admire them, he would judge and criticize them. He'd say things like, yeah, that guy's a big jerk. He thinks he's better than me because he has more money. So from a very early age, I received a really different mixed message around money that caused a split in my energy. 
because each of my parents had a very different perspective around money. And unconsciously, I had to make a decision about which one to please. If I please my mom and become a person who I made buku bucks, I'll be judged by my dad by becoming a person who makes buku bucks. You can feel the contradiction in that, right? So this type of early programming has a huge effect on our relationship with money. And if we don't go back and examine the question and really question this programming, we will unconsciously allow the messages we receive way back in childhood to influence the relationship we have with money today as adults. So you want to begin to think about the messages you receive from your parents about people who had money. And on the other end, what messages did you receive from them about people who didn't have a lot of money? These are some of the unconscious beliefs that we'll be looking at and dismantling throughout this course, because you are now the adult. You do not have to be limited in your relationship with money the way your parents were. You can create your own powerful relationship with money by virtue of the energy you are offering and you're choosing to offer in relation to it. And that new energetic relationship will, with money can start right now in this moment. So the last thing I want to go over, since this is our very first session, is the daily practice that I'm going to ask you to commit to. The work you'll be doing on your own in between these video sessions is an integral part of your success and to getting the most out of the information and techniques that I'll be teaching you. You'll be getting a lot of great information throughout this course, but it's really up to you to integrate this knowledge and make it part of your daily life. The daily practice is structured so that you can do it just 20 minutes a day. The first component of your daily practice is journaling. You can either go out and buy a journal specifically for the work that you'll be doing in this course, or you can just repurpose one that you already have. Or if you prefer typing on your phone or on a computer, you're welcome to do that as well. The important thing is to have a place where you can record the insights and ideas that will come to you as you begin to actively attract more money into your life. These could be positive insights and ideas that come to you, and they could be repetitive thoughts and beliefs around money that you are becoming aware of. Whatever is there for you that you want to express or record for future use is what you record. The second component of your at-home work are the guide sheets that accompany all of these video sessions. You will notice that directly underneath this video, there's a link to the guide sheet for session one. Each guide sheet includes a daily statement. These are statements that you're going to read out loud to yourself every day with feeling and conviction. You are building a new energetic relationship with money. And to get that energy moving, you need to read them with emotion and allow the essence of each statement to really land inside your body. So for example, the first daily statement is, I create money and abundance through joy, aliveness, and self-love. So rather than just saying the words, you really want to take it deeper and ask yourself, is that true for me? That I create money and abundance through joy, aliveness, and self-love. What would that feel like in my body if that's true? You want to get into the feeling place of living that statement. It's not a head thing. It's a head, heart, hara thing. Your hara is another word for your power center that's located about two inches above your belly button. When you say these statements, imagine lines of light coming from your mind, your heart, and from your power center. These are three main areas where you transmit and also receive energy in your body. So these lines of light, of love and light and appreciation and gratitude are going to this thing called money and then feel that green energy coming back into you. I create money and abundance through joy, aliveness, and self-love. So each day, first thing in the morning, read your daily statement and feel it in your body and in your head, in your heart, in your power center. Feel it throughout your whole entire being. 
and then take a few moments to write in your journal about what your life will be like when that statement reflects a true belief for you. What does that belief feel like for you? What is your experience? What are you experiencing in your body with that statement? What will you be doing? How will you feel? You'll get the most value from doing both your daily statements and the journaling first thing in the morning and at night before you go to bed because the interim of time right before we fall asleep and right after we wake up is really the time when our minds are the most receptive. We're not yet in an alpha mode where our focus is on achieving and accomplishing. We're in a theta state, which makes us much more open and able to receive. So the daily statements are a way of reminding you to start your day in a space of love and appreciation and gratitude about money and to end your day in the same space. So please remember to incorporate this practice into your daily routine. Thank you for watching. Check out the related videos here and please subscribe to my channel for more. If you like this video, please share it with your friends and comment below what you think.